What's going on everybody? Welcome for the first time or back to another DLJ Works video. Today's video, be very bold with this, but I really want to share how you can get God, aka the Lord Jesus Christ involved into your career job search. Let's jump into it right after the intro. Now, before I start this video, I actually want to just say that I, at this point in time, I don't really care. Like, I I really personally thought that you could separate your beliefs, your Christianity, if you are a Christian, from what you're actually doing in terms of talking about your faith. And it's really hard to do that because and this is the primary reason, and that's because I don't ever want to take credit for something that I know that is something that is supernaturally taking place in terms of where I'm at career-wise, family-wise, anything that goes on in my personal life, Deshaun cannot take credit. Who you're looking at, Deshaun Johnson, cannot take credit, even at my current job. A quick story about how, how I even got my current job wasn't because I'm just the greatest web designer or I'm just super talented. It was really a door that God had opened up for me. And I, it was last year in March, March of 2019, I was on spring break and I was at my in-law's house and we was actually playing NBA 2K, we was just chilling, I was relaxing. And what happened was my wife gets a phone call from somebody at her job who owns a sign shop here in Waco, Texas. And he was looking for somebody that was more than just a designer, but that had some sort of business sense that understood the online arena, understood online marketing, all these things. And I got referred to by this person, my, my wife, they, they called, the sister of the owner called and asked if I did web design and development or it was like, don't you do, don't your husband do web design and development? It was like, yeah. So I'm just, I'm upstairs listening to the conversation that she's having. And uh, at the time I was still teaching. That's why I said I was on spring break. I was actually still a middle school teacher teaching technology applications to sixth to eighth graders. So I, when we get back in town, cause I was in Houston at the time, when we actually get back in town, I go ahead and I set up a meeting, I meet with the owner, and over the course of like two months, I had like, like a two month long interview, and just really just kind of asking questions about the company, trying to get an understanding for what they actually did there, and really building a relationship with the owner, a really good relationship that I have right now to this day. and. That's how I actually started working up there. It wasn't because my my portfolio, I had the portfolio I had hadn't even been updated. And but the things I did do in the past, I did show on my, you know, I did have something. I just didn't go in there and just was like, ha 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 ha, I'm a web designer with nothing to show for it. Like I had my YouTube channel. I showed him that I actually built the product line on a, a inside of a teacher's marketplace, and I was explaining to him my understanding of sales, my understanding of online marketing yada, 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 all these sorts of things, you know? So I did have something to show for him, but actually that's what actually sold him on the fact that we could work together and just the way that I was actually asking questions and trying to gauge where his sense of success was because I know that I still have some personal desires that the good Lord has blessed me to, to have right now in terms of being able to be financially free and being able to actually kind of work um, have worked actually revolve around my family and not the other way around because me still being working here at this current company I have to kind of still work things out with my the owner when can I get off and those sorts of things and I want to get to a point to where it's, it's just the other way around it's just a desire that I actually have so so moving forward right now that is a door that the Lord just opened for me I wasn't even looking for a new job that's the that's how I know it was God because at the time I was not looking for a new job. I was happy teaching actually. And I actually had to pray hard on it because I really didn't want to leave teaching. I built a really good relationship with students. I really enjoyed teaching the students the basics of using computer techniques and, and computer programs like Microsoft Word, PowerPoint. You, you wouldn't believe. Don't let young people confuse you just because they're savvy and using social media does not know does not mean that they know how to actually be productive with actual computer applications. There's a difference. Consumption versus product productivity, but that's for a whole nother video and talking about the younger generation, whatever. So that, that's how I knew it was the Lord opening that door up for me. All right. So for the most part right now, when you're searching for a career, when you're wanting supernatural things to happen, like you're doing everything that you can, you got your portfolio out there, you have your website, maybe you even have a YouTube channel and, and things are just still moving slow. Well, how do you get 
how do you get the supernatural? How do you get a higher power involved? And if you're watching this, maybe you don't have a belief in God. I can't really speak on you if you don't have a belief in God. My belief is in Jesus Christ. That's what it is. It can't be separated because I don't I know what the Lord has done for me. And if I even try to separate that and hog all the credit and be able to say that it was by my own hands, then this could be snatched away at any moment. I can't take credit for that. And that's that's I think that's the one reason why I really feel like you can't really separate. I can't really separate what I do web design wise from my actual beliefs because they're interconnected, especially if God is provided for me. So I have to be very bold in that. But if you're maybe you want to try, you've had a bad experience in terms of God himself or whatnot. Maybe somebody in church offended you or whatnot. I don't I don't really know. Maybe you're an atheist watching this and you're just turning your nose up, hmm, God, but you never really open up a Bible to actually try and put God to the test, to actually put his word to the test. You're just going off of what you've seen on videos and media and you let Hollywood raise your faith and make you become an atheist. I, I really don't know. I really don't know. But either way, whether you're a believer or a non-believer, you have to put the word into action. You have to put the word into action. Let me share another story with you. I didn't become a Christian because I've had some traumatic experience. I actually became a Christian based on my dating life. Well, a woman I was actually dating in 2009, uh, we were actually, we, we were intimately involved, way, way beyond intimately involved. But she would always talk to me about the Bible just out of nowhere. And she talked to me about it in, in the most realistic sense that I can actually grasp. It was from a very practical standpoint. It really got me excited to just crack open a Bible and put a lot of tenets to good use, you know, about my attitude about work. Colossians 3, 11 on down. I, I, it may be even shorter now. No, I'm not going to try to quote scriptures, but I am not just mentioning the books or whatnot. But I know in Colossians 3, it has a lot to do with your attitude towards work. And it's about um, do things unto the Lord, not unto uh, men as men pleases with eye service and I'm paraphrasing with that but what does that mean is that you want to do everything with your whole heart with as mighty as possible giving it your all giving it your best and not thinking that oh I'm doing this for my boss or whatnot but no not even not even doing it for yourself but doing it because you know that it's going to please the Lord you know that the Lord is going to smile on you and give you a just reward for the work that you're doing if you go into work and you, whatever you're putting your hands onto, and that's Ecclesiastes 2, whatever you put your hands onto it, do it with all your might, you know that your reward is coming from a greater source. It's not coming from, the, the Lord will use people, yeah, but it's, it's coming from the Lord. It's not, and that through people, you need to give God credit for what he's orchestrated in order for you to succeed. The steps of a man are ordered, the steps of a righteous man are ordered by God. And if you're going to the Lord and you're asking questions, hey, Lord, what do I do next? What do you want me to be at? Where should I actually be right now at this point? How can I use these web design talents that you've given me to expand your kingdom even more? And that's not limited to always just doing church websites or anything like that. But that could be maybe this business, the Lord is directing you to help this business right here, which I think is the reason why I'm in this position I'm in right now. But you're going to go to this specific company, use your talents to help them raise their company because maybe at the end God has a special plan for that business to maybe help a church or help something to expand his kingdom and that sort of trajectory. I don't know. You you could never know. We can't see far into the future. We can only go to the Lord and ask those questions and see and ask him to give us direction. It's not the other way around. When you take actions before asking God on what you need to do, then what's going to happen is that you're going to be like, oh, I made this mess. I need God to clean it up. Help God, get me out of this. I, I messed up. Like, now I need you to fix it. It's your job, God. Fix it right now. And that's usually the attitude that we take when we have with God. But I, I implore you to go ahead and do the reverse and seek direction, seek guidance first before you take those action steps. Even if you're not a web designer and you're just watching this, you're not aspiring to get into development, to get into coding, to write JavaScript, anything. you're just somebody who just needs some work. Start getting God involved by asking him. Even in this climate that we're living in right now, nothing is impossible. You know, with man, things are impossible. With God, nothing is impossible. And that's so true. I, I've lived it out. It's, it's, it's true. I'm not, just, I'm not just making this video just to kind of gloat and, and blow smoke and try to convert you into a Christian. It'd be awesome if you accepted Jesus Christ into your life, but I don't want to make that sound cliche and water it down by just saying that in this video. I'm just telling you right now, do what I, 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 I there goes my advice. All right. I'm going to end the video like this. Here goes my advice. All right. 
if you grab a scripture and you don't understand it, try to maybe seek some understanding for that scripture. And once you gain understanding, put it into action and see how real the Lord is for just for you, just for yourself in your life. Forget everything that you've seen on social media. Heck, even maybe forget what I've just said. Maybe with just, just, just this one thing, because that's what I had to do. I was like, I forgot everything. When I talked to that chick that I dated in 2009, I let go of everything. I was like, all right, I'm going to take what she said. I'm going to forget everything I've, I've heard about, you know, Creflo God. I'm disconnecting all of that. The pastors I've heard, the dirty preachers, they just, churches want money. I, I'm forgetting all of that. Let me just go ahead and put this word into action and see for myself how real this is. I got God involved in my career life. My, my dating life, which led to me being married, I'll be married for 10 years next year. It's already been a decade. Not with all its ups and downs, but I, it's already been a decade. I couldn't be happier right now. I just, I really could not. I feel security in my marriage. I feel like I wouldn't be in a position I am had I stayed single. Being able to build it with somebody that's really ambitious, I'm really happy. And at this moment in time, there's, there's still some things that I may behave in a way that I know disappoints the Lord, but I just keep moving forward. And I keep just trying to do things that's going to please him. And the things that I mess up on, if I do wrong, at the very end of Colossians 3, it's like verse 25. When you do wrong, you get your wrong, you get your just reward for doing wrong. And there's been times I've gotten that reward for being hard-headed. So I, I, I had to make this video because I really, I personally believe, I strongly believe that if you get God involved, God of the Bible, I can't speak for, you know, Shiva or anything, anybody else like that. Buddhism, I, I can't speak Islam. I cannot speak for it. All right. I can only speak for the God of the Bible. That is through Jesus Christ. You get God involved into your career search. Then you're going to see some great things happen. I guarantee you for that. You're going to watch this next video. We've gotten to this point where I ask you to do all the basics, like share, subscribe, blah, 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 whatever. But I'm going to ask you to watch my DeVry story. And also, I'm going to put a suggestion maybe in the description for you to actually go to my Christian YouTube channel. If God is not uh, for me, then he must be against me. That's my Christian YouTube channel where I can really dive deep on some biblical topics. But watch this video here for my DeVry story and then go take a look at my Christian channel and I'll see y'all in the next video. God bless y'all.